we've got a whole bunch of new stuff to play with, and it starts with murdering lots of construction workers. And probably restarting until we find a much better upgrade than Grey's. A purple cooldown reduction will absolutely do. This actually pairs nicely with what I got. Every time you move 25 meters, shoot a poisonous grenade at the nearest idiot. It inflicts poison in the AoE, which is bigger. Poison inflicts 25% of your damage on a 2 second cooldown, but if our cooldown's much quicker, that's quicker. Uh, so we'll just keep on murdering just like we are. I think the minecart actually just hit the idiot because I got an achievement for that. The, the minecart hit the deputy, so the minecarts also hit the idiots. Uh, I'm going to take this more damage because that's going to start to fall off. We went from 60 to 70 and that's important. There's a treasure chest over here. I guess this is where the idiot died. When you get hit, there is a 30% chance to dodge the damage. That's really good. So 1 and 3 are not really going to hit me. My lightning bolt went off. That felt good. And cooldown's 15% again. So they're already down to 50% cooldown time. Uh, we're going to turn our crit chance up by another 5%. We're going to wiggle through that. Not so gracefully. Thought I had a little more room than that. This one is a really, really tight area, but there's our health back already. But we need to be really careful how we maneuver this. We are very tight spaced. We're going to take more damage from 70 up to 85. Uh, we're going to put that health back on right away. We're going to try and launch a lightning bolt towards the boss. That was really, really dumb. There we go. Hit the boss. Only hit him a little bit. Uh, we could try and walk someone into the minecarts, but easier said than done. I just need to remember to actually stop and put damage on idiots instead of walking around as much as I am. Permanently augments your damage by 30%, reduces your attack speed by 20%, that's fine. We can attack a little bit slower, because eventually we'll have piercing stuff, probably. I'm actually going to reroll these, I don't feel like any of these are immediately helpful. For AoE and pickup range up by 30% I will take. Uh, g whoops, given that this map isn't huge, AoE should start to have a big effect, provided we have an AoE type item. The lightning bolt is technically AoE and we're getting gold coins. Gain much more attack speed. We actually needed that because we lost some. So we went from 2 to 2.8. We just watched an idiot get wrecked by a minecart. Uh, when I get a gray like that, I'm honestly just taking more damage. I went from 110 to 120. That's going to be helpful for bosses and deputies because they need to die quickly. So they need lots of damage in on them. We have a rolling creature coming in. It has since been eliminated, but I feel like we're going to start to see more and more of those. What I need is more of my lightning orbs to go out. Can we have more of those? Do we want to reduce cooldown again? Yeah, we do. That still would not knock this down to 47%. Now we got to fight the giant uh, tomato. We need to be very careful how we maneuver this. Uh, okay, we're going to slip out this way if we can. Up through there, just barely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone hit the... Yeah, get him. <laughs> yeah, got him. I think I'm really just going to enjoy getting people run over by minecarts in this one. So we'll take more attack speed. We'll walk out of danger somehow. Don't know how I'm getting away with this unscathed. I guess uh, the rocks don't instantly fall. This is fun. Okay, uh, that's the wrong way. Yep, going up here. Good. I think I understand now. Not really. Okay, this is just confusing me more than ever. Do I keep running this way? I'm taking damage. I don't know what to do here. Dodge? Yeah, I know to dodge. I just don't really have a much of an effect on that. Okay, crit chance is going up. It's now a 20... Is sheriff incoming. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this will be good. Maybe I get the sheriff hit by a thing. Uh, okay, we're gonna shock you. Help is already get there. Oh, well, the turn up wasn't as dramatic as I thought it would be. Um, I don't really remember what this guy does. That was close. I don't know if I've ever fought this thing before. So far, I mostly have him on the rhythm. We're also gonna sit in this while we're at it because that'll just fire a few extra projectiles. So it might help kill Simple Tom here. Simple Tom deserves to die a horrible death. Okay, we're gonna get some shots in. He's gonna start rolling. Hopefully roll into my lightning a few times. I could finish him off because I don't want to have to deal with this anymore. <laughs> this is getting stressful quickly. Okay, uh, dodge that. And okay, I think we got Simple Tom here. He's dead. And the turnip thing will help here because, well, it's still not great. I kind of regret getting that. Actually, I entirely regret getting that. Our health came back though. I think that must have been after defeating the boss. I'm not really sure. Don't really care. The health is back. Let's not ask questions and keep on murdering. Crits do 100% more damage. Good. So we're up to 20% crit chance, 375% crit damage. So if those are going off, we're hurting things really big. Uh, okay, we got to kill hook hands here. We are going to dodge away and get a lightning orb in on him. The lightning orb's coming back. Not going to matter. Wow, we need so much more damage still. Oh, that's fun. It can follow us. Oh, that could be a cool build because that guy can stay in the lightning now. Excellent. We can have lightning orbs following us the whole time. It's hard to stop on this map. My lightning's really starting to wreck people though because it sort of just wanders around as it sees fit. And it is very random where it wants to go, assumingly. 
<laughs> but we're electrocuting everyone to death accidentally. And the best electrocution is an accidental electrocution. Uh, let's reduce the cooldown abilities thing. I'm pretty sure that means the lightning's either going to go off more or strike more like when it does start zapping. I'm going to spawn an invincible minion that picks up coins for me. Uh, it's a small level and I'm having trouble maneuvering to grab them all like I normally would be. So having that little idiot running around, uh, hurting things and collecting coins uh, is going to be hugely helpful. A little more health on the ground. It's surprisingly hard to do this with less limited movement. Like I gotta go horizontally and I keep looking at the wrong things. I'm very easily distracted. More damage. If I manage to start one-shotting things, that'll help. The lightning bolts or uh, orbs are definitely keeping me alive at this point. Without those, I think I would have already been dead. There's a new type of enemy coming along and I'm really, really having trouble seeing projectiles coming at me. I'm glad I have my minion though because he's really collecting a lot of garbage for me. AoE and pickup range is going up by a further 20. Wow, I cannot dodge those things today. Maybe I'm more tired than I think I am. There's also a TNT at the top of the screen that looks like it's burning down. I don't really know what happens when that runs out, but I bet it's fun. I'm going to increase my uh, range and pickup range a little bit more. My AoE is important. As soon as we get something that could actually benefit from that a little better, we'll be in good shape. Uh, the uh, robo idiots here. Wow, look at the size of this thing now. The range on that is huge. Our AoE is actually really big. We just don't have a lot of uses for it yet. Except for our lightning orbs. That's kind of funny because those are actually getting really big too. Alright, let's take a little more damage from 156 all the way up to 176. That's a considerable increase. It's taking quite a few shots to take out the idiots, so we definitely need more damage. Need my lightning going off. Lots. Okay, got those guys dead. Okay, there's a health bar guy, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can find a little hidey hole for a sec to hold still. Okay, it's going to be hard with the mole. Okay, got to keep moving. Got to need my lightning bolt to come back. There it is. Lightning bolt's going to wreck everyone. Like, the lightning bolt is actually is super, super strong. It just follows me around and I really have to do very little of anything. Let's gain more attack speed. Also important. Two shields rotate around you and block enemy projectiles. That's uh, probably actually going to be a big one for me. I need lots of help with such things. Okay, we got a double train coming in. We can't move. Oh, it's this again. I don't really know what to do here. Uh, I'm just going to keep moving this way then. I got all of our health back. These things are spawning ahead of me. Whoops. Okay, well, whatever. That's going to have to be fine. We're just going to keep moving. As long as those things are falling from the ceiling, I'm safe for just running to the left endlessly. Plus, my little minion is back there, picking up coins. We can sacrifice his life instead. He'll come out for a sec, probably pause. Let me get a few hits out, get a few hits out. We'll just sit up here. And yeah, so I to just slowly murder him. This is fun. Shoot four times faster, but deal three times less damage. Yes. I just sacrificed a great deal of my damage for way more attack speed, so we need to start putting damage back on. Uh, but considering how many arrows we're shooting currently, I think the uh, attack speed was well worth it. We've actually got four yellow upgrades so far, so we're actually doing really good in that sense. We're finding some rare stuff, we're just not utilizing it well. I need a little bit more range too, because those guys with the orbs are managing to uh, shoot their orbs at me here and there. And that hurts because then I do have to move and I don't want to move. I'm about to be attacked with a, by a lizard with a katana. Uh, but we're going to absolutely melt him so our damage seems to be catching back up. Gain 10% more experience on future and past coins. Yes, that should auto level me. Do we want to knock our cooldown down more? I guess we do. So we're down to 35% cooldown. So things are happening much faster than they otherwise would be. We just need a more, a few more effects that can benefit from that. But I'm liking this gain a lot more damage. So it'll take us from 65 to 74. That's a big increase. That's over 10%. So that's going to be a lot more DPS for us. We need every little bit we can get. Oh, the shield was going to get that. I wasn't sure. Uh, we're going to, since this one's purple, we're going to put AoE up by another uh, 30%. That's going to put it up to 240% its original size. So as soon as we get some uh, better upgrades going, that's going to be really, really overpowered. Also, where's it? there's my lightning bolts. Okay, let's get a few more of them going because they'll come in and zap everyone to death. Those things are really doing a lot for me. I killed the Tri-Orb Moron. Uh, doesn't look like we necessarily have anything super great. When your projectile should be destroyed, their damage is reduced by 50% and they pierce. Uh, I think we have 5 pierce currently, so I think that puts us up to 7 pierce with lesser damage obviously, but pierce is pierce. You can never have too much penetration. I don't know what our arrows per second is at currently, but it feels like it's probably pretty high. You also shoot behind you. This one is very important, especially on a level like this where we're attacking mostly left and right, so now we're shooting both sides. That's just going to help thin things out either side. That way when we're focusing on one idiot, there's no idiot sneaking up behind us. I got an achievement for capturing 10 totems in the same game, but that's because my AoE is at 240%. Like, I'm almost always touching the totem, but it's pretty weak, so I don't care. 
We're killing so many people, my little minions having trouble keeping up uh, collecting all the coin bags. Like there's a few over here that are absolutely full of coins. None of these are super great. Let's just take a little more damage. 80 to 84, so that's a 5% increase. Clearly the quality of uh, damage upgrades are in 5% increments. But 5% is 5%. That's a big damage increase overall. We're about to start another boss fight, I think. So we'll see how this works. Not with this one, I don't think. Uh, we'll go ahead and melt this guy pretty quickly. Especially with the lightning bolts. The lightning's doing so much damage. I don't know why this one is gold. Your first piercing shot now targets the closest enemy. That's probably really good in a way, but I kind of need this 20% damage. My projectiles are slower, but they're already really quick. 20% uh, damage is just big. That's going to help melt bosses and everything. These hordes of idiots. Uh, you get one more choice for each upgrade and object selection. Yes. That just means far more chances of rare things moving forward, or at least the ones I want if they're not rare. And as I'm doing this, we seem to be spawning uh, now multiple lightning orbs. I think we fire out the front and the back. So now we're getting multiple lightning orbs slowly following us like that. Okay, the lightning orb seems to be when I move for a bit and then stop, it launches out. So now I know how to get those going. So we'll do that and launch and here comes the next sheriff. He'll go stop. Okay, that stage is over. Now he's back to the ball phase. So he's dead. Let's take in some chaos. Objects and chests can't be identified, but you gain a chest for every seven levels you've gained. So we're going to we're going to gain seven chests here. Two lenses rotate with you. Oh, so any of our projectiles going through the lenses do more damage. My new strategy might be that is walk a few steps, let the lightning out. Walk a few steps, let the lightning out. And I'm pretty sure the lightning is based on my damage too. So the more damage we do, the more the lightning does. And obviously it's doing some work for us already. It is melting things. And it's taking up so much of the screen that it's pretty much like everything's always getting electrocuted. I'm sure the game's gonna start to lag because of this before too much longer. Here comes another, uh, whatever you call it, sub-boss, but he's dead, so we can go ahead and grab that and move on. Next up, we're gonna gain a lot more attack speed. I wanna see how much that adds. We're going from 28 per second to 33 per second. Okay, that's really actually adding some firepower. I probably could make my AoE just a little bit bigger. The circles aren't quite taking up the whole screen, but they take up enough that we're almost always hitting pretty much everything that can be hit. Got a another guy with a health bar, gain much more damage. Yes, I will take that. 162 to 187, that is a big increase. I'm really glad I lucked into this lightning thing, because now I can just have giant lightning orbs follow me around melting everything, and uh, that's really just making this really easy so far. If I raise my maximum health by 2, not only does it give me health, that's going to add damage, that puts me up to 211. It also makes me bigger and slower, but I don't need to be that quick right now. I need my lightning to do most of the work. That guy didn't even make it to me before he died. Your projectiles bounce two more times. Projectiles that bounce do so in the opposite direction. I don't know if that's going to factor in this build, but it doesn't really matter. The lightning's doing a lot, I can tell, because as soon as we don't have the lightning, the enemies swarm me. But once it gets going again, everything dies. We'll take a lot more damage again, 211 to 229. Enemies are getting strong quickly, I can already feel the difference. Like, they're getting close, we got some lightning going out. The guy with the health bar is really able to absorb some damage, especially with all these lightnings going on. Okay, we had to dash there, but there's some hearts around that'll save us. Gain four rerolls for upgrade choices. Yeah, we need the one where we heal when we dash. That way, not only will we uh, take damage, but we'll also gain damage and heal the damage we did take. When there's no idiots with the uh, health bars on the screen, we can actually hold still really, really well and mostly melt things. It's when these guys show up that I gotta start moving again, though he's almost dead. Uh, you know what? In fact, he is dead. I missed the healing again. Gave two object banish rerolls. So at least we were able to... Well, there's no point banishing because we don't know what anything is anymore. That's part of the chaos. Uh-oh. Ooh, that's a lot of idiots. Okay, lightning bolt saved me. Okay, we're gonna reroll. Ooh, 40% AoE range. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take that just because we can. Oh, that's another 7 levels, so we get that. Whenever 66 coins have been collected, summon 5 demons that run toward the closest enemy to 100% damage and an AoE effect. Oh, that's gonna be good. We collect a lot of coins. And our AoE is huge. Yeah, there's our demon. Uh, yeah, we gotta keep wiggling too. This is all about the wiggle. Wiggle, move, drop some lightning, do a burst. Uh, yep. Okay, we're starting to get overwhelmed a little bit. More attack speed is very necessary. And we got another, uh, heart, uh, health bar guy. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and lightning bolt him to death. And he's gonna enjoy his electrocution. Had to dash a few times there. We took some damage, but also gained some damage. Can't really see where we're at health-wise. We're still at 8 out of 8 because there's so many hearts on the ground. You know what? We're just going to have to tank through this guy, I think. He's too tough. Wait, almost got him. And he's dead. Yeah, I can't see what's going on either. Every time you two me move 2 meters, lightning there strikes a random area. Ooh, that's got a small AoE, so it's going to be a big AoE. Yeah, so now our lightning's going off everywhere and it's attacking, <laughs> hitting multiple guys. So we have very massive lightning going off in multiple ways. We're going to add 100% more crit damage and now up to 475% crits. So basically five, uh, five times damage for critical hits. And that's going to be pretty necessary. 
Well, this is obviously a gold upgrade. We're going to take that. Gain additional choice for upgrades and objects. The additional choice is always of rare or higher quality. That's actually really, really good. We're already getting very lucky with how many golds we're finding, so now we're going to find even more. That's a little better. Uh, let's make ourselves bigger and add some damage. Went from 300 to 343 damage. And most of our hits are going to be crits at this point. We have 50% crit damage. I don't want to get too far away from my uh, cluster of hearts. We need that to keep us alive right now because every once in a while we do take a lot of hits. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and take this gold one in the center. It emits an aura that periodically inflicts 30% of your damage to enemies. That aura is going to be huge. Uh, it does one fifth of the damage so it's going to do a little over 70 damage. But that's a nice evaporator so now anyone that gets close to me is probably going to die before they get there. At least for a little bit gonna re-roll these until we find some gold it's even bigger uh aoe it's a 320 percent i don't know much bigger like i think we're long beyond the uh, point where that's necessary but my onion ore needs to be bigger i suppose you can never have too much onion aura okay here comes uh the werewolf guy uh he's getting wrecked by multiple things so he's already dead we'll take goldie over here every time you move to meters load your next shot with two more projectiles okay so that's gonna fire a multi-shot every once in a while that's not hugely big for this build but it definitely helps and look at all the kamikaze ghosts we have running around. Let's take another two health. That added almost 50 damage to each of our shots. And we're firing a lot of those. I didn't even see the guy with the health bar. He literally died before I could notice some gold upgrade. Your projectiles leave the screen. Now we appear on the other side. Uh, we lose a lot of attack speed. I'm not sure uh, if a lot of our projectiles are leaving the screen anyway. Given that they come back to me. But what do I care? We're just going to keep embracing the chaos. After a few dashes, we are up to 500 damage, 500 base damage, and a lot of those are critical hits. Okay, here comes a some kind of demon thing. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and stay a little bit away from that. It probably hurts a lot. You know what? He's quick. Uh, we're just slow, actually. We're gonna tank through him and kill him. That's neat. Increase your attack speed by 1% per enemy on screen. There's a lot of enemies on screen. And the more there are, the faster we're gonna fire. So we're having around 50 arrows per second. But they're bouncing all around. We just have a lot of projectiles in all directions. I wasn't even building anything in particular. I was just picking whatever upgrades seemed fun in the moment. We managed to build something that seemed pretty good so far. I love my giant lightning bolts. There's also an enemy sitting right on top of me. I just killed another sub boss without even noticing he was there. Gold upgrade? Summon a small flying demon. So every time my team collects 25 coins, when I stop, I shoot a huge beam at the closest enemy. Deals three times my damage. Where am I going to find 25 coins at a place like this? Wow, <laughs> that's a fun big laser beam. Uh, okay, that's <laughs> going to wreck everyone. That's fun. Slows enemy projectiles in an area around you. Okay, good. I was getting worried about those. Let's reduce our cooldown by another 10%. So that knocks it down to, uh, yeah, actually under 33%. Another gold upgrade. Deal your raw damage is an area effect each time your projectiles inflict a critical strike. Wow, that's going to be a huge one for us now. 50% of our hits are crits. I actually zoned out there because it was just damage. We get another gold upgrade when you take a killing blow revive with all your health. Can only happen once. And gain 3 max health. So that actually boosts our damage up to 625. Wow, the game did not like that transition. Yeah, we're starting to experience some lag once in a while. Uh, I can understand why there is a lot going on to process. Well, I feel like I pretty safely destroyed a lot of this, so we're, we're going to go for a little walk and move out of our heart zone. But not before immediately picking up a chest, gain four rerolls for object choices. Pretty sure those are the ones I can't see anyway, so that was a pretty useless upgrade. Gain much more attack speed, legendary quality, 19.3 per second to 22.3, and that depends on how many enemies are on the screen, but that was a big increase. My speed almost perfectly matches the lightning orbs behind me, so uh, I can just launch a lot of those and they'll sort of slowly follow me until they evaporate, but they're doing a ton of damage themselves. I got another minion that's going to pick up coins. He turned so many coins into a heart, which is kind of counterproductive at this point, but I got another minion picking stuff up, so that's something. Every 30 shots, your next shot is a slow, huge deal, three times more damage and cannot be stopped. So that's going to be one of the big bullets that shows up every once in a while. It might end up following me just like my lightning balls. When I hold still, it just seems unfair. There is just non-stop projectiles in all directions, absolutely obliterating everything. We're also going to triple our shot. We're going to lose 40% attack speed, but the attack speed is going to go up depending on how many enemies are on the map anyway. And we're also over a thousand damage per arrow. Um... And we're firing a lot of projectiles. I don't know what our damage per second is, but it's probably like in the millions. In fact, I can't really even see through our projectiles. Like, I can't even see the enemies anymore. It's just projectiles and death. 